everyone, welcome to this Union Solidarity International web, web conference. We're speaking to Sunhir Katiyar of Prayas Labour Centre in India. We'll be working with Prayas to help organise brick kiln workers. Uh, welcome Sudhir and uh, you, you're having a, a meeting today. Can you tell us about it and where you are? Yeah, see, right now I'm in the ticket Ahmedabad, which is Deacon to Gujarat, and also been the center of the uh, workers' union in, in the state of Gujarat. And we are having basically a sort of a capacity building exercise with the team, with the core team. We have called in an OD expert to basically working on increasing levels of understanding, we talk about automation formation, and it's a so it's a group meeting where we have a members of a team from Prayas, the also of the email uh, that we, we, we work with. So we have workers from skilled workers union also with us. That's fantastic. And uh, will we get the opportunity to speak to anyone, to meet anyone? Yeah, definitely, definitely. In fact, uh, uh, the uh, one of our uh, experienced uh, uh, union member today. Uh, uh, who, 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 who is and he has been associated with the union in Gujarat for the last three years. He is a resident of Rajasthan. Okay. So they come uh, and might be aware that we have this phenomenon of seasonal migration. The so workers from one state migrate to another state to work. So we have a large group of Rajasthani workers who come to Gujarat. So they is one of them. He has participated in union activities for the last three years. Okay. And he participated with the major player in the strike that we had two years back also. And now uh, we have we have started with the help that is brought from USI. We are starting to work set up a cluster of, uh, of a cluster, set up a union in uh, Rajasthan also. He will be playing a key role in that union. In fact, the he he be in Elected as, a, as the treasurer of the union in Rajasthan. So, so David, and I can pass it on to him. He can start talking to you. Okay. Talk with you. That would be good. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So, so David would briefly talk about his experience first. He, of course, would be would not be speaking in English. Okay. So after he's spoken, I'll I'll translate. Okay. Perfect. Fantastic. I come right. ਸੋਸਟਰਸਟਰਸਟਰਸਟਰਸਟਰਸਟਰਸਟਰਸਟਰਸਟਰਸਟਰਸਟਰਸਟਰਸਟਰਸਟਰਸਟਰਸਟ
some of the work that you're doing at this stage in order to educate and to train the union organisers. That would be fantastic for our viewers and listeners to hear about how we are helping you to build union power. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, I, I, I'll explain that. See, this, this, right now uh, in India, the ways are ending. Monsoon season is getting over. So, the fifteen season will start in another month. So, uh, this season is about to begin. And uh, we are making preparations before the season now. Before the book. So, right now in this month or in the month before this, we have been going to the source area from where workers come. Yeah. We have had many meetings in the source area. Uh, the funds that the USI will provide uh, they have provided to us. It will help support the travel of the team to source area. It will help the team to go to these villages, which are located at quite some distance and quite far away from each other. So we'll be with the help of the support, we'll be doing the mapping of the workers. You know, we'll be mapping from where workers come. Then we will be holding meetings. We will be holding small meetings in the villages. Then we will also have bigger meetings where we call together a group of workers. And uh, we are, we have promoted a trade union now. We have gone into the process of union formation in the state of Pakistan. We have just applied for a session of a union, uh, of which today we saw this now, he is very little the federal. So we have formed a committee. And this committee has applied for a session with the state government to be recognized as a union. Now, then another major thing that we are doing is basically, you know, we have, uh, before the season, every year, we wrote a demand charter for the season. So, right now, what I am going to the whole thing before you. you know, it's, a, it's a demand charter of the worker. It lists the various plants. Primarily on the issue of wages, this is how the wages that the workers are demanding for the season of different categories. You know, there are different categories of greeting. Some people make bricks, other people transport bricks into the chimney and bring it out. Mm -hmm. So we have got this demand charter for the different categories of workers. Then this demand charter also contains demands related to provision of basic facilities as a brick kiln. Basic housing because the workers live in very bad. So we have demanded basic housing, basic shelter, drinking water, uh, and education for the children, and uh, other facilities like cheap ration and all that. So everything is contained in this demand charter. And once now we are going to support this demand charter, all the source is very good. Uh, right now, what happens is that the workers are recruited to the contractors. And Circulating uh, this demand charter before the season builds up pressure on the contractor, it builds up pressure on the employer. So it shorts off already there is a process of base hike in the post, which is set into the motion. Ultimately, the strategy is to uh, go for this uh, implementation of the charter in the middle of the season. When the workers have reached the brickkin, then we'll come bring it and uh, we'll have bigger meetings and see if we can stop work and ensure that the demand for charter gets implemented. But the strategy is to separate it beforehand so that it builds pressure on the employers and they mentally they become prepared. And some of them, in fact, some of them already started offering higher wages as a response to the demand charter. So that is the work that we will be doing. Uh, in Rajasthan, we have <coughs> workers from many states. So far, we have been to the parts of Rajasthan with ten workers. But we also propose to go to far of states like mm -hmm. Bihar and Harkhan and UP and supply this demand charter and have meetings with the workers and do a sort of baseline mapping of workers. And then once the workers have reached this uh, reach the work site in another month or two months, then we will take forward the struggle in the station area. That is in brief the work we will be doing with USA support for the next two months. Really. That's fantastic, Sadia. Yeah, really, it's really pleasing for us to hear uh, and to share in your experiences, Sud, here that the work that's already gone in to train and educate and to publicise union 
organisers in order to increase their wages, increase their health and safety and their working conditions and to improve the access to social services, in particular health and education for the families because as we know a lot of the workers come from other areas and neighbouring states in India and it's really pleasing I think Walton just for USI as an organisation and those who are supporting us to hear about how some of the the work that we've been doing to publicise and raise awareness about the fantastic work that you're doing is now being translated to practical work on the ground and really from Union Solidarity International suit here we're really excited about how we can help you take the work that you're already doing to a different level and to help improve the lives of thousands of workers and their families so we're just delighted to be associated with this project and we look forward to in the coming months and for the duration of this year to learn of the progress that's already been made such as employers and contractors already want to talk to the union about raising their wages. This is just fantastic for us to hear. And as an organisation, we are absolutely devoted to the cause of building union capacity, union power and helping workers organise themselves for a fair day's pay. So it's brilliant for us to hear, Sutir, and thank you very much for associating with us in this project and thank our brothers and sisters who are in the learning and training course right now. And let me, on behalf of USI, just state that we're so pleased and proud to be associated with this project. And we look forward to working with our brothers and sisters in the months to come. Yeah, Andrew, thank you very much. I mean, the, the assistance that USI is providing is very valuable, very critical. For the uh, the uh, the number of working groups is really very very large, and so far we have worked with only in one state, and with the help of USI we are able to now expand in other states. Like Rajasthan is one state we are working, so we will also be working using USI funds in another different state, Hyderabad, yeah. where the I would say the nature of work is very similar. Only thing is that the location is different, and the the, the different migration stream, you know, from Odisha. Yeah. So the USI support is, I would say, very valuable to us. Thank you. That, that uh, the workers in India are able to get support from workers in get Britain. And it will really go forward. And this initiative would really be, I would say, it will be a landmark initiative to establish the unity of workers across, you know, different continents. We really get to, we really have to get to you. Brilliant. Listen, Sue, here we look forward to our next conversation in the next couple of weeks, hearing about the progress that is continual and is being made. And we look forward to linking you up with workers in the UK and in Ireland, where workers who work in this industry can talk direct to some of the workers in India to share experiences, to share information, to share organising tactics about how we can all help each other build union power. On behalf of Union Solidarity International and our latest update from yourself, thank you very much indeed, Sutia. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Colin.